Hello guys, what's up it's Liv and welcome back to my channel. Woo! So for today's video, I am going to be posting a what I am manifesting in 2020 video for you guys. Mostly, I'm going to be super honest. This is probably like 95% for me and 5% for you guys. The reason I say that is because it is so important to me to really focus on what I want to create for myself going into this new year. I want to post it for you guys because maybe it'll help you as well. I know we're already late into January. By the time this goes up, it might even be February. There's never a time that it's too late to start doing things that you're excited about. I want to post this so that in 2021, I can look back on this video and see what I was able to manifest and see if I stuck to it. Let's go ahead and jump on into this video. I'm going to go ahead and do five, I think five is a good number of New Year's resolutions that I want to stick to in 2020. Oh my God, there's so many fuzzies flying around me. It's ridiculous. I know I could do more and that's probably a really low number for New Year's resolutions. The more resolutions I create for myself, the less likely I am to stick to them. So five is small, contained, and practical for me. Let's see what I am manifesting into 2020. So I want to kind of clear up real quick before I start by when I mean and what I, what I say when, oh my God. So when I say my 2020 resolutions, that is also going to be me manifesting. So when I'm saying manifesting, I mean that I am putting it out into the universe, attracting all the good things and letting the universe do its thing. So my very first thing for 2020 is probably the one I'm most excited about. If you guys have not watched my latest video, I kind of explain where I've been. I will leave the link down below and the bar right here if you want to click on it and watch that. But in that video, I do mention that I have recently started figure skating. So when I started figure skating or ice skating in general, I went to the public session and I was so bad. I got on the ice and I was terrified and I hated it. I left that day and I had two options. I could either never go skating again, just decide that I'm horrible at it and even though I wanted to do it so bad, it's not for me and I'm done with it. Or I could keep going and get invested in it. So me being the all or nothing type person that I am, spent money on skates as a public skate suck, just they just suck. My goal is that I want to stick to figure skating in 2020. By 2021, I want to be wearing a beautiful dress. Even if I can't do a whole performance, just to wear that dress and feel confident on the ice and feel comfortable enough to go out on the ice and perform beautifully, even if it's just for myself. In this week alone, I have spent over 10 hours at the ice skating rink. My legs hurt and my feet hurt all of the time, but I'm just so excited to keep going and to really manifest my dreams in 2021 of being a beautiful figure skater. My second New Year's resolution actually has to do with YouTube and it's just to post more and to post more content that I am so passionate about. When I create things that I love and that I'm passionate about, I want to record them and I want to edit them and I want to post them. I just, I wanna keep doing that in 2020 and it's really easy for me to just start doing something and then give up. I'm very much someone who doesn't always finish their projects and I want to complete this project. I want to keep going with YouTube. I'm only like 200 or something subscribers away from meeting a thousand subscribers, which means a thousand of you chose to come to my channel, click that button and subscribe to me. I know that people are going to be watching this and being like, that is such a small number. That is huge to me. That is, that's, I am excited about that, okay? But anyways, my second goal is to follow through with YouTube and post more content and post more content that I'm super passionate and happy about. My third New Year's resolution is to not let my insecurities rule my life anymore. I know that probably sounds like, oh, okay, everyone says that type thing, but for me, my insecurities have ran my life for so many years and I've missed out on so many amazing opportunities purely because of the fact that I'm scared of people seeing me in a swimsuit or seeing me in shorts and I don't want to go out in the summertime because I don't like my legs and if I wear pants then everyone's like why are you wearing pants and I'm just I'm tired of letting my insecurities ruin and run my life and me being a victim to them. My goal for 2020 is to say goodbye to my insecurities and I know they're not going to go away but I don't want to let them control my life any farther. Love my body for who it is and what it is. I have an amazing body and it's mine and I love it and I want to love it and that is one of my biggest resolutions 
and manifestations for 2020. I will be so in love with myself that everyone else will just learn to love me for who I am too. My fourth New Year's resolution is to be more eco-friendly. I am a vegetarian and I've been a vegetarian for about six to seven months now. It has made me so much more aware of things that are going on. I don't really know how or why, but I'm so, so aware of everything that's happening around us. I still have a major carbon footprint that I leave every single day. And I very much, I, I hate it actually, I hate it so much. One of my New Year's resolutions and manifestations for 2020 is to be more environmentally aware and environmentally friendly. Instead of using plastic water bottles, pretty much for the last, I don't know, probably year, I have been using these giant kind of water bottles. And I know everyone's super into Hydro Flasks. TJ Maxx, I think this was $14, okay? You don't need to spend crazy money on Hydro Flasks. You can just go to TJ Maxx, like, and I just want to be more aware of things that I'm using that create garbage every single day. Maybe doing less online shopping because every time I online shop, plastic comes with it. And I go out to stores using more tote bags instead of plastic. Just being more aware that the world is ending. Like, okay, don't come for me. You can come for me. I don't care. The world is like suffering. The world is hurting even though i'm just one person every single person can make an impact if we can just kind of spread our environmental friendliness to other people then it's no longer just one person so if you're feeling like you want to be environmentally more friendly but you're like what's the point i'm only one person meh it's okay you can make a difference even if it's just yourself your world around you your friends your community around you will notice your changes and probably start to implement some too. And my fifth and final resolution is to be more politically aware. I don't know about politics very much. I hated hearing about them because I am a very strong empath. Every time I would hear about politics, it physically affected my body. I would get very ill. I just feel energy. I hated it. And my mom is the direct opposite. She's very into politics. She's very kind and loving. Always is vocal about what she believes in and what she stands for. And that that means so much to me. I want to take a little bit of that and implement it into my own life. The elections are coming up and I want to be very aware of who I'm voting for. Every person's vote makes a difference and makes an impact. My vote matters, okay? I don't care what anybody says. So I will be voting in 2020 and I encourage you to all go do so as well. That is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my 2020 manifest with me resolutions, whatever you want to call it. I hope it inspired you to look on your life and think about what you would like to change in 2020. And if the word resolution scares you, just call it manifesting and you're putting this out into the universe. You are attracting this to yourself. That's all I have for today's video. Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.